In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys our fall morning routine, and we are going to be starting a new unit today, our Thanksgiving unit. And I wanted to share with you guys how our fall mornings are looking. Now this video is special because this is a collab that I am hosting with my friend Nikki. She is another homeschool mom here on YouTube, so make sure to check her out. It's gonna be a cozy collab, I'm gonna call it, because there won't be too many videos. There probably will be four to five videos, but it'll show you how different families use campfire curriculums in their home. I'm gonna be sharing you guys the Thanksgiving unit, so make sure to stay tuned. will tell you it is easier to eat an apple than to make a poem. It is also easier to eat a poem than to make an apple. Is it easier to eat a poem <laughs> than to make an apple tree? <laughs> yeah. It is. That's an interesting poem. Okay, so we're going to be talking about traditions. Do you know what a tradition is, Nicholas? Um, What is a tradition? Like what, what, are, what is traditions? Tradition. Michael, do you know what a tradition is? Huh? Do you know what a tradition is? You know, okay. Tradition are customs, behaviors, or beliefs passed from generation to generation, usually by family or by culture. Okay, so we're gonna talk about new traditions, okay? But first, mommy's going to read this, okay? It says here, the new bride, okay? We're gonna talk about Thanksgiving traditions. Nicholas, you're listening, right? Okay. The new bride brought home the roast from the local grocery store, excited to cook her first Thanksgiving dinner for her husband. The year was 1980. She cut off the ends of the roast, put it into the oven and set the timer. Her husband eyed her curiously, not knowing why she cut off the ends of the roast, presuming he must not be on the cook's secret and finding the meal delicious anyway. The story that we are reading is about a wife and she is making a roast and the husband asked her why she cuts the ends of the roast. Uh, everyone in her family, usually when they do a roast, they cut the ends out of the roast. And he wondered that this must be a significant tradition and there has to be a reason for her doing that. And she thought to herself, well, I'm not really sure why I do this. Our family always used to do this. My mom used to do this. My grandma used to do this. It's just part of our tradition, but there has to be a significant meaning. So she asked her mother, mom, like, why do we cut the ends of the roast? And her mom said, well, we used to do that all the time. That's the way grandma used to do it. So they asked the grandmother, why did you cut the ends of the roast? And the grandma said, well, that's just the way we used to do it. The, you know, our great grandmother used to do it like that. So they asked the great grandmother and they said, you know, why did you use to cut the ends of the roast? There must be a, you know, a special meaning to it. And the great grandmother said, well, it wouldn't fit in the oven, so I used to cut the ends of the roast so it could fit in the oven. <laughs> there wasn't a significant, you know, tradition to it. It was just something that was passed, you know, down over time, and they thought that it was something special. They didn't even have to do that tradition or do that because the roast could fit in their oven. Just back then, they had a small oven. We had a really good laugh with this. <laughs> you get it, Jay? Everyone's cutting the ends of the roast and they're thinking that they had to do that. You get it? It was just a tradition passed on like everyone like sometimes you do certain things. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, share it. Can you think of any tradition your family has whether or not they make sense? Che, can you think of any traditions that we have? Ponji keju. We always make ponji keju. It's a tradition for us to make ponji keju here in special occasions, right? Yeah, but like, always get in a fight with Nicholas before he has. That's a tradition here in our house. 
What else is a tradition that we can think of? That was such a funny story. Well, it's hilarious. The story from the previous page can be slightly different depending on who is telling it, but the point is that tradition can come from many places. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back while I'm on a one way track. Now I You know what we like to do? What? One of our traditions is we like reading fall books. Yeah. We like reading fall books as a family, right? Well, we have. Bobby, I do have one tradition. I do have, I have one, one more. What about what about yesterday? Uh, not yesterday. This week, remember we went on a a drive around the country to look at the fall colors. Nicholas, do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. Yeah. So like driving around and seeing the fall colors. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Mm -hmm. Mommy, mommy, I'm hearing. Uh, uh, I, mommy, I, I can't can find what the tradition. Difference. What's your tradition? I like making paper airplanes. You like making paper airplanes. Okay, that's a cool. That's a cool tradition. Okay, why we love tradition? Why do we love tradition? Why do humans seem to love tradition so much? The likely season is because we are created by a God who also at times shows a love of tradition. Have you ever thought about that before? Who can think of any tradition that God embraces? Chehi, can you think of any traditions? What about the washing of the feet? That's like a tradition, right? Looking at the verses below, we can see that for the sake of tradition, man went against God. It says here, read Matthew 15, 2 to 6. And why do you, do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? So uh, what does it remind you of a little bit? If you read Matthew 15, 2 to 6, let's go to um, Matthew 15, 2 to I 6. So traditions made actually people go against God and not keeping the Sabbath. It's easier not to keep the Sabbath, right? It's much more easier to do stuff on the Sabbath that has to do with us because it's easier. I mean, we're at the end of the day, we are selfish by nature and we want to do our stuff our way. And when God tells us, okay, keep the seventh day holy like, and rest on that day, people get offended. Like, why are you keeping that day holy? We don't have to keep that day holy. But God said, rest on the seventh day. So that's where... And God is our creator. God is our creator, right? And he even rested on the seventh day. New Year's tradition, we have of staying up late, you know? No point to stay up late, to wake up that's, tired the next day. That's true. It affects our health sometimes. Even traditions where, even like in weddings, weddings people like to drink, right? You go to a wedding and you think, open bar, right? Drinking, and it's not good for you if you think of it really getting drunk it's not good for you but people put that together wedding equals getting drunk right going to a party sometimes even kids right uh, and teenagers going to a party means getting drunk now we're gonna go outside pretty soon okay and we're gonna make a new tradition it's called the leaf catching game okay we're gonna go outside there's not a lot of leaves falling is there oh, on that side there's more okay we're gonna go outside in our backyard and we have to try to catch as many leaves as we can okay 
We have five to ten minutes. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I guess we could clean up the backyard while we do it. But we're gonna go and we're gonna catch as many leaves as we can. Okay. And maybe after we can make a leaf pile. It would be nice to make. I don't think we and have enough leaves yet. But that's another tradition that oh, we like doing. We like up. getting all together. Yeah, we well, like putting the leaves all together. Last year, we did this a couple of, all the years that we've been here in the country, we always gather a, a lot of leaves and you guys jump. No, you guys jump on it, jump on it, remember? Yeah. You guys jump and on the leaves. And once we remember that video that we did with the- I have a video of it, I'm gonna put land? it here. Off the land? Living off the land, okay, yeah. yeah. We did that video where we did with the forts, we made the fort and see if we can- Oh that. yeah, that's can the camping that unit. No, that's our camping yeah. unit. We did it with the with camping uh, campfire curriculums. Yeah, yeah, our video of campfire curriculums. Can we do it again? Try it yeah, again? sure, yeah, we can do that. Before we pray and uh, we end off our lesson, I just wanted to tell you guys, like, this was really, really nice. It got us to think, it got us to talk about traditions, good and bad. And it got us to talk about our traditions and things that we do just out of habit, maybe. And it becomes a tradition in our family. I thought that was kind of nice. And um, I like that it includes God in a biblical perspective into it as well. Nicholas, do you want to pray for us? No. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Please help us to do the right tradition. And please help us to decide which tradition is right or wrong. And please help us have a good day today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Good job. The kids are a bit under the weather, probably already let you guys know that, and they are not feeling so well. So today is more laid back kind of day. Uh, we did our morning time, as you can see. We're gonna go outside soon, but I wanna clean up the house a little bit before we do. We're gonna take a trip pretty soon, um, and I have to pack. We're gonna leave on the weekend, uh, well on Friday. So that's tomorrow. So I wanna pack and clean up the house. This is real life, guys. I'll show you my house. It's not looking pretty. Uh, I have to clean up here, the dining room table, because we just did our morning time here. Usually we do the morning time at on the couch. Nicholas already did a good amount of stuff already today. Yeah. He's feeling under the weather. He's feeling sick. Uh, so we're not gonna, we're gonna take it kind of easy today. Nicholas, you wanna tell us what you guys, you did today? Um, I, I did my handwriting. Yeah? I did this. What's that? Fork and fuzz. What's that? To it. I read the whole okay. book. <laughs> so you read the book? And you're gonna do, a, he's gonna do a little book report afterwards on it. Um, explode the code. Yeah. Nicholas, your job is going to be cleaning up your room. Okay. Let's go check out your room to see how it looks like. I'm going to clean up the dining room table. Let me show you guys this. It's really bad. I'm going to clean up our, our island. This is a big island, so there's a lot of stuff on here. Yesterday, I took out a bunch of books that we're going to be reading this month uh, in October. Uh, we're going to focus on the indigenous people so I have a couple of books here and then I have other books that I'm just going to go through and see if we could do a little bit of like of history, just kind of like unschooling kind of method. I have our Storm Chasers unit, which we've been loving. We've been doing Storm Chasers by Campfire Curriculums as well and we've been liking it. I have our subscription box services here too. I'm going to clean up the kitchen. I didn't clean up for breakfast, so I'm going to be doing that. So there's a lot to clean up. <laughs> It's looking, it's looking pretty rough. And then our rooms, we have to go and do our rooms as well. So we have a lot of stuff to do. Let's do that. Michael just cleaned up. Michael, did you just clean up? Yeah, I did. Okay, what did you clean? I cleaned, I cleaned these. Why is your pants tucked in like that? Did you just go to the washroom right now? Yeah. Okay, can you take <laughs> take off your shirt? <laughs> take off your shirt from your, your pants. What's going on here? Wait, this is your shirt. Your shirt's tucked in. There you go. <laughs> okay, living room's not looking too bad. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I 
I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Okay, just finished cleaning up just our bedroom just so it looks a little bit more presentable. Like took out the clothes from here, put the clothes away, um, did the bed and just it's nice and clean right now. Did you clean up your bedroom? Okay, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Is it locked? We lock the bedrooms because the, the kids sometimes want to get in there like Lily and she'll make, make a mess. Hey. Okay, your bed is clean. Yeah, your bed. He made his bed. I don't expect him to do too much. He has his books there in the corner. Good job. Michael's bed. Okay, I'm going to clean it up really quickly here. Uh, I'm going to let the past be filled with smoke. I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let it's unsaid Okay, so now I'm gonna tackle here the living room, dining room, kitchen area I'm just gonna snap my fingers and uh, we'll see what happens So I wasn't able to do the dishes yet. I'll do that after lunch, but I was able to make a lunch and lunch is going to be soup. I just got a bunch of different veggies. Let me take that out. I got a bunch of different veggies and I just put whatever I had in my fridge. So there is onions, garlic, um, broccoli, um, carrots, potatoes. Uh, there's some squash in there as well. And I just kind of boiled it since the kids are are sick. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away. You gotta leave? You found one? You got one? No, that, one from the oh, that one from the floor? Yeah, they're not, they were falling so much the other day. But now it's like, oh, another one. I saw another one fall. Oh, another one, Nicholas, over here. They're falling here. Catch them. Yeah. Right there, it's falling. <laughs> oh, it's falling, Nichols, right there. <laughs> Mushrooms? Yeah, Show me. So it's not that easy to play this game. I thought it was going to be a bit easier. Oh, Nicholas! So many are falling. Look, so many.
That was a lot. That was like four leaves at a time. We thought it was going to be a little bit easier to play this game, but it is hard because there's not a lot of leaves Mommy, falling. I catch the there's a lot falling there? Mommy, I catch the weed. You catch one? I catch one. Oh, wow. Catch more. So it's a little bit hard, but it's okay. We're still having fun. I think that we're going to continue uh, I playing this game. One. Good job. Uh, we're going to continue playing this game throughout uh, the fall until all the leaves I catch are gone. Another one. Oh, wow. These really nice fall colors everywhere right now here in Canada. So guys, I think that's it. I think I'm going to end it here. We really enjoyed doing campfire curriculums, the Thanksgiving unit. We're going to have so much fun. This is our first day and I'm enjoying it so much. I'm so happy that we decided to go with campfire curriculums, the giving thanks unit. So, so good. Anyways, go check out my friends, my homeschool mom friends and their videos and check them out, them doing a lesson. Uh, it's going to be a small, cozy playlist, but it's definitely going to be awesome. I can't wait to watch the videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video to show your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh,